Now this is the raw height. You soak it for at least a couple of hours until it gets soft. Then that's what we use to tie the skin down to make it tight around the hoof. Let's soak for a couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, I've been soaking this for the last four days. So it should be soft now, see? And what's this? The moose skin. That's all moose skin, see? And when I get ready to uh, make a drum, I measure it and I cut it off and I put holes on it and then I put the drum on it and I just use the rawhide, these, to tighten it. You just pull one in, it'll tighten, tight together and you just work it with your hand. Later on I'll show you how I started. Okay, right. I'll show you a the good one I got here somewhere. Okay. There's the one little move side. I gotta clean that one. Okay. It's very soaked. Here's the one I used to clean the skin. When it's time for me to do it, I learned how to do it. I just get right at it. Tell the difference. I need to clean some more. So this be the outside. And when it once it dry, it look like this white, clean. So you just scrape some more off, keep it clean, keep working at it. And Keep wetting it some more and keep doing that and you get all your all your woodwork together. Take that, flop it right on there and start bending, put it on. We get into that later. I'm gonna keep it down here because I don't want it to dry up. What's this now? This is what I use to make drum. Now these are birch. Now there's certain certain kind of birch you gotta look for. It doesn't matter if you got knot on it or anything. It'll still bend perfect. Because it's got a big knot in it. You just bend it like that. Just work your way around. 
Easy. Mm -hmm. Made out of pipe. Cut up and I... That's what I used to bend a drum. Start from here. Put your block on it. Anybody's welcome if they want to watch it. Because I'm going to do this one in and one more. It should go around easy. Yes. <laughs> how, how many clamps do you put on? Just as soon as you get, get so far, you... If you find a knot, you try to put the clamp on it or put a board on it, and then that way you won't crack it. Now you cut it. You get completely around. How long do you leave it there? Yeah, I'll leave it there for two days. I'll let it dry. When it start <coughs> when it start drying off, it'll just fall off. <coughs> when it dry, it'll just fall off and, and be ready. Seven? Eight. 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 What? He measured it. What's the, what's the diameter of the drum? Fifteen. Fifteen inch, I think. Last one is fifteen. Anywhere from fifteen to eighteen to twenty-four they make them. How do you know how tight to pull it? Because that's going to depend on how, I'll show you. how the drum uh, sounds. I'll huh? show you. You don't have to follow the, you know, the each hole. Mm -hmm. Most mo most hole I put in are just in case I need them. So we'll go to this one now. Next one. Yeah, to the third one or third second one. one. Second one. Okay. You better make the holes in here. Not sure how far. Then you just go back and forth. Inch and a half. Oh, you mean not put it too close together? Yeah. Then after I have to come back and get it. Okay. I think this is purpose is to try to get the height around the around the thing around the wood. Oh, okay. Well. And then later on after they dry, mm -hmm. 
just throw it in the water and let it just wet again. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pull it off and we'll smooth it out again, straighten it out again, and then we'll let it sit to dry. Just a little bit. Now why are you tightening it up on this one now? So we can get the height around the skin. I mean the skin to get try to get it around them. The hoof. Just work your way. Oh see this one side is needs to come up. It don't matter. No? It don't matter. Oh. This is a long They're gonna soak it again and then retighten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark, you can push it down about one inch, just about right here. Uh huh. Oh. See? Oh. That's just okay. right. That's how you know. making sure that we don't tear the um, little slits here when we take the rope off. Why are you doing this? <laughs> How do you space this one? Well, a space of three. Three on each side. Three, four, so that as long as they're pretty much the same up front here. Usually I put a board cross here where you can hold it, mm -hmm. then I'll just tighten it. And I'll do it this way, the old way. Lash, uh, lash and all the way around to the middle too? Yep. Oh. You could do either way you yeah. want to design it. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I'll do it that way.
do is fancy it up if they want it inside. This is a drumstick? Yes. So what other things do you put on it? Yep, I put the rawhide on it, so make it last forever. Does the rawhide hold it together this, too? Yeah, this rawhide dries, it'll be just like this wood here. Maybe if it needs an hour or more, if it's, if it's a hickory wood, let it stay for about a couple hours. Ready. Homemade steamer. <laughs> oh, milk cart. Is this what they call it? Yeah. Somebody was talking about back there, remember? Earlier? Yeah. yeah. Cook it up good. Okay. Nice and steamy. Now we'll take it over there and see if we can thin it. Tomorrow morning it should be all ready after it dries good. Nice and sunshine. This one they a long time ago they used it for water or berries. Sometimes they leave their food in there. Something like this like a hole in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this one is baby care. Put another line over this side mm -hmm. so it don't broke. Mm. They pack baby in there. 
and then put them, they put them inside most rope mm -hmm. and they pack them. After, after we did this, we gotta go look for fresh willow. Mm -hmm. Put it, put it around, mm -hmm. and we sew it in. Mm. This baby care, I put another line and over something like this, different color up to here, and then I cut French so I don't broke. Long time ago, they don't have a diaper. They got squareness or moss in here mm -hmm. mm. or diaper. Uh -huh. Then when it the baby used it, they pin it out and put new uh, new set oh. in there <laughs> and start sewing. And we're gonna get a really good size willow for around and sew it so it's not broke. I see what you see you're doing. doing? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, where do you have to start from? Where? Oh. Um, she start going on mid. Yeah, that's already don't need to be put together. Oh. Right. Cut the seam. Uh huh. What are they using to um, string this together? Tie it up. Oh. Uh, spruce tree roots. I made one. So do we need this? That's the one we cleaned yesterday. So we saw you gotta keep it wet all the time. This, if you don't, it's gonna broke. You gotta wet it. That's why it's getting wet. Supposed to be right down here. You started. That's what I heard. We tear that moss ankle bone. That's what, that's what they use. They even use it to make slipper and put moss sinew and sew moccasin with it. Now you're adding another part for more support. Another line, yeah. For reinforcement. They punch hole and put um, roots through and just let it stay there. It's like it stays just like post pin. They used moss spring for soap on moss skin, mm -hmm. but we don't do that you today. You don't do that, not today. Mm -mm. You use uh, felt snap to soap? Yeah. Either way to sew is new start from my auntie. She can moss skin. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, I saw it. If it dry, it gonna stay like that.